Another book. This one is very political toward one set of thinking. Um, if you voted for George W. Bush, you might not like this book, okay? Um, but it is an important book to think about the concept. It's called Don't Think of an Elephant. Don't Think of an Elephant. How many of you succeeded? The point of this book is when the other side of an issue get to frame the issue, we have no choice and we lose our power. Okay? When I tell you not to think about an elephant, you have to think about an elephant. Recognize, and this book points out, that speaking truth to power won't do it. Some of you in this room think that's what it takes. I have told them, and they're not listening. This is the point of this. That's not sufficient. We have told them these programs work. We have told them here's the problem. We have told them here's why we should do this, and it's not working. So as was mentioned yesterday, stop it. Those strategies aren't going to do it. We have to come up with other strategies. We have to reframe. Because until you frame the idea that power, whatever power is, that power can work with, you're not going to cause a change. So let's think about that just a little bit. What does that mean when we talk about that? So some of you have heard me give this example before. Some of you know I have and dearly love my 1956 pickup truck. You don't have to be from Texas to have a pickup truck, but it helps. Okay. It's beautiful. It's plum. In, a, in College Station, they think it's maroon. It's not. It's plum. Okay. That's one of the original colors of a 1956 pickup truck. Has no rust. Probably ran, runs as good as it did in 1960. Okay. It is a great truck. Now, if you come and tell me, that's an old truck, get rid of it. Not only am I not going to, I am offended. This is my baby. This is my truck. And I love it, as only a Texan would love their pickup truck. Okay? So don't tell me it's old, it's out of date. And if you frame the problem as... Here's some of the issues with your truck. It's not very fuel efficient, is it? I don't go very far in it. I don't care. <laughs> so every time you try to point out to me what's wrong with my truck, I'm just more and more offended by you who don't understand how hard I have worked to have this truck, to keep it running, to keep it beautiful. It's my truck. On the other hand, if you said, we're going to drive to California, let's take your truck. I would say, what is wrong with you? Okay? We are not going to California in my 1956 truck. It is not good for the truck, and it is not good for us. Okay? It has no AC. It gets terrible gas mileage. What are you thinking? Okay? Reframe. If it hasn't been working, then instead of thinking that they are idiots, understand that we have framed the issue wrong. 